Hello! For today's video I thought I'd do something a little bit different and give you um, an island tour of my Animal Crossing island. So this is my one of my favourite villagers, Axel. He was one of the ones that kind of my first, my, one of my first two uh, and my favourite animal is an elephant so I think the game innately knows me um, and he has a nickname for me and he calls me Spud and potatoes are my favourite food so all round we're having a great time. So what I'm going to do is take you on my little morning routine. A lot of this game is just doing daily activities like checking in with your villager friends and cleaning up weeds and stuff. The focus is going to really annoy me. Um, so I thought I'd take you through what I do to keep my island nice and tidy. I have a four star island, I'm working really hard, I'm trying to make it a five star island but we're getting there. This is Isabel, she does a little announcement but no big announcements today. I really hope this is in focus. Oh, my island is called Rocket. So this is my this is my house. Uh, I've fully maxed out the space on my house. Um, I've got some nice flowers, little fire, gnome to protect, some cute pink tulips, uh, and post. Let's let's collect my post. I ordered a bunch from Nook Shopping. Oh, Flick sent me a present. So first things first, I follow this path. And I go and check in with uh, the little the little Nook twins at uh, Nook's Granny because I've got to find out what my turnip prices are. We're all, uh, we're all dressed for Christmas. It's very cute. I wish I could say I had a part in that, but that, that is built into the game. Oh, there's Ken. Cool. Turnip prices. 77 bells. That's not good. <laughs> not right now, thanks, mates. So one of the things uh, you're encouraged to do is to chat to your villagers every day. So even though I don't like Ken. So yeah, that's my daily check-in with the lads. Um, then I go and talk to all my villagers. So this is my villager district. Um, that's where all my villagers' houses are. Uh, I tend to start on the top row and work my way down. But for the sake of this tour, I was just showing you. Uh, here I've got my little pumpkin patch. This is Maddie. She's she's well cute. They're just adorable. They're so cute. But let's get on with the island tour. So starting in the bottom left, we have my little picnic area. We've got a phone box, because you can, candy flush machine, po uh, pop I was going to say Pokemon, popcorn, candy, little picnic. This was a turkey day hamper. It's just well cute. And next to that, we have my flower market. So I can't, this is the only view you can get, but these two um, market stands have flowers on. And then we've got little... Uh, tin can flower stuff. This was a turkey day thing and these flowers the orange and black ones You can't actually buy them. You can only buy yellow red and white and then they like breed um, and Merge to make these colors uh, and these orange cosmos ones are my favorite Just in case anyone's wondering. So that's my little collection of orange and black um, moving on little flower um, border going down to my airport um, and then moving through if you come over the flower we have a little football round uh, I think I might add um, some flooring to like separate it a bit like I did with the food market um, but yeah not got not got anything up to that yet got a little bench seating area and then another flower display because I really like flowers um, and the little water feature and a drink fountain and yeah and then we've got the pumpkin patch up here and if you follow the path we come up to the campsite where you can get visitors um, and oh here's Sherb oh and I've got you on a KK day uh, when you finish the game you get KK Slider the famous singer to um, visit your island and he comes around every Saturday but uh, following the path let's talk to Sherb I wish you could turn around and you could see how cute he is. He's a little goat. Um, 
he's adorable. So yeah, well, if you follow the path up from the airport, you get to, um, I can't remember what they call it, um, the like town hall, essentially, and that's where Isabel and the King Thomas Nook live. Um, and you can see what's in the spares box, trees and floor and a sleeved apron and things. I don't tend to take anything from there. This is like essentially an Animal Crossing shopping and a cash machine, but you, if you check in every day you get lots of Nook Miles, which is like an alternative currency. Um, but you have to check in every day or you lose your streak. So from here I will then move on to the other parts of my island. Um, so if we cross the little bridge we come to my peach farm. Peach is my native fruit um, so I have lots of peach trees and then I come and check on my little flowers because this is where I'm trying to breed the other colours but nothing new today. And then we come to my cherry orchard. It's my cherry trees. Um, all my battery lights flashing, that's good. Um, nothing in there today. A little twig, pick up the twig, keep everything nice and tidy. And then if we come up here, we have my like children's playground. Uh, we've got a sand pit, we've got a springy ride on, just check in for twigs. Little pool, flamingo, climbing frame, and this teapot ride does sing and go round. Um, but that's annoying. Uh, we have a little porta potty, uh, some seating for a lifeguard and the parents, and then some snack machines because why not? Um, over here we have the clock and a bamboo plant with some lights following the path. I've got to check in here for any twigs. I've got a phone box because I'm really trying to work on decorating the island. Some nice flowers. I was going to have another incline here, but apparently you can only have eight on the island, so I ran out. So I do need to take this path out at some point, but we'll get to that. Uh, here we have a well and a fire, because again, trying to decorate the island. Um, here's my orange orchard. I mostly run around checking for things, but also these little marks in the ground are generally fossils. So uh, there is a museum, but we'll get to that. Uh, so I go around and do my little sweep of the island. We've got all our power here, so we've got a wind turbine, solar panels, and um, I don't know, something. Uh, these are the pink cosmos flowers, I like them a lot, uh, but we'll come back to this later. Back over the bridge, through Stonehenge, check the trees for twigs, and we've got more flowers over here. And then we take this incline up to the highest point of the island, collect the weeds. Um, we've got our little sky viewing platform. Another twig. Now I just go down and check the other side where I have all my flowers, some more orange trees. And actually I can go down here. Um, so yeah, then we have a few more orange trees and then I go down here um, where I have my pear orchard. Um, I also have this completely lined with flowers so I have to check that there aren't any growing that aren't meant to be there. Just check all the pears. Uh, you can collect and sell the fruit but um, I'm at the point in the game where I don't actually need to buy that much. So they're happy. And they're not normally that colour. They're that colour because it's autumn. They're normally green. Uh, so here we have another flower lined bit. I added this in yesterday. This is a gravestone, but it's like a western stone something is how it's described. But they told me they wanted to decorate the island more. So there we have our secret shrine. And up here we have another fossil. Cool. Up here we have my bamboo farm. Uh, I've not used bamboo for much yet, but um, oh, I have all these. I think they're cedar trees lining the back of the island, um, or the edges of the island, I should say. So I had them all up the right side and whatnot. 
These are holly bushes, which are in season at the moment, but I only bought five, so I need more to finish lining here. But um, we'll get to that when the guy that sells plants comes back. Up here we have uh, my, what I call my relaxation station. I've never called it that before just now. But um, we've got a little sand pit, little nice place for, um, I think this is like the holiday section. So parents can come relax on the, the hammock and the, and the little, what would you call this? Reclining chair, can't think of it. And then the kids can play in the sand pit and there's nice, lots of nice flowers and bushes and a bamboo plant, which I was hoping would look more like a palm tree, but it doesn't. Um, but that's that little section. Then we have yellow flowers. Oh, I'm not going to get that present because I don't care that much. Um, lots of flowers lining here. And then we get to my apple orchard, which I think is just beautiful. Need to check the trees at the back for any twigs. I don't think the game really notices if you collect all the twigs every day, but... I do. Oh, there's a little spot here. This is some money in the ground, obviously. A thousand bells. How lucky. So I'll cover that back up. Nothing down here. Don't need to go back to the pear orchard. Kind of the last bit of the island. We've got this bit of beach with a rocket and a lighthouse and another viewing platform. We've got the dinosaur that guards my house. I didn't want to buy him, but I've bought everything else in the Nook Miles store. So he lives there. Doesn't really fit my aesthetic, but yeah. There's some more um, flowers, little well, little stone. And then I always check the bit behind the shops um, for any stray twigs. Sometimes the villagers like to come sit or fish here. Um, oh, missed one. So the one thing about not being able to change the angle of the game from front facing is that you sometimes you miss things. And there's another little fossil. Cool. So that's like my full sweep of the island. I've been and checked everything. We can go stand next to KK. So that's my little island tour. I've been really enjoying playing Animal Crossing. It's so simple and like it is a kid's game. But it's nice to have something to check in with. My battery died just as I was finishing the video, which is really annoying. But um, I was just saying, having something daily to kind of log into whilst this lockdown still kind of... We're not technically in lockdown, but there's still something going on. And I don't have a job at the moment, so it's nice having something to like anchor my day and like regular to check into. Um, but thank you very much for watching. I've really enjoyed making these Vlogmas videos so far, so I hope you're enjoying watching them. I um, hope you and the ones you love are staying safe in these weird not lockdown, lockdown times. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.